It's good to be back today. It's me, Melissa, and it's Word Warrior time. I, I'm on day 36. I can't believe it's going so fast. I'm bundled up like Nanook of the North. I'm about to freeze today. I'm not going to make it good on this weekend when it really gets cold, really gets cold. Um, in Isaiah 61, we've been talking about beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for uh, a, a morning for morning, in exchange for morning. And today we're going to take it just a little bit further. So I'll read that passage, the first part of it, so you know where we are. In Isaiah 61, 3, it says, To all those who mourn in Zion, that's Jerusalem, I will give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Now, that's where we're going to start today. Now, remember, we have a covenant God. Covenant. Everything's exchanged with him. We give him our weakness. He gives us his strength. We give him the things that we can't do, and he gives us the things that we can do. Everything exchanges. Watch that when you read the Bible, and you'll see it happen over and over again. Now, uh, in the Hebrew language, the word for heaviness is despair. It's a feeling of anxiety and silent hopelessness. That is a terrible place to be. Terrible. And some people spend a lifetime there because they don't know how to get out of it. The phrase, a garment of praise, is a metaphor for the gladness and the thanksgiving that wells up inside of you when, when the Spirit comes on you and you're filled with joy. In ancient times, people would grieve uh, over situations or people or, or something, and they would sit in a pile of ashes, and they would put on sackcloth. This is how they, they grieved. And it says in Esther 4.1, when Mordecai learned of all that had been done, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the city wailing loudly and bitterly. The garment of praise is the opposite of sackcloth. It's bright colored clothing. And in the Stan Christian Standard Bible, it says it was splendid clothes. Do you remember in, uh, when Jesus, at the beginning of his ministry, he's in the synagogue one day, and he begins to speak the words that are in Isaiah 61. And when he gets through reading them, he looks at them and in Luke 4.21, it says, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. And oh, they just went wild with that because what he's saying is, I am Messiah. I am the one who's come to bring the joy, to bring beauty for ashes. I'm the one who brings the oil of joy for mourning. And I'm the one that gives you a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. And, and so there was a disruption there. And so you and I were created to glorify God. That's part of who we are. That's why it's important to use our voice to glorify him. And when the, the enemy came in, shut churches down. That was a bad thing because we have to glorify him by our singing and our praise. Now, um, I want to... I want to say something to those of you who are struggling with depression. Depression is a real feeling. And and it I want you though to consider your thought process because when we're in a depression, we think differently than the world. The first thing we do is we are self-absorbed. It, we look at ourselves, we think about how we feel, what makes us sad. Everything evolves around us. We're not looking out you know, we may have children that love us dearly and want to be with us, but we just have barriers up and we're just, it's almost like we've gone into a shell of depression. And the other thing is you can believe you're a burden to others. And this is where you get into dangerous thinking when you think they would be better off without me. That will take you down a path you don't want to go. Um, the other thing is you see yourself as a failure and you'd rather be alone than with other people. That's why we withdraw from church. We withdraw from organizations. We withdraw from the world. And Satan's having a field day with that. The thought of praising God is not even on your radar. 
You don't operate in a spirit of thankfulness when you're depressed. You see what your lack is and what you don't have instead of what you do have. Um, do I believe in antidepressants? Somebody asked me that. Absolutely. Sometimes you need that. Do I believe it's demonic based? I believe sickness is demonic based. So yes, I think it can come from him and the thoughts he puts in our head. But but it can be a physical thing that he's, he's caused, in which case antidepressants are fine. Do I think you should have counseling? I think if you need counseling, have counseling. I am not a counselor, by the way. I, I'm a listener, but I'm not a counselor. You need professional help if you're in that situation and let them walk you through. It's nothing to be ashamed of as a child of God. It means you have gotten into a spot that you need help. In John 8, 36, it says this, Whom the Son has set free is free indeed. That means he frees us from everything from sin, from bondages, from the traps of the enemy, from depression, from addictions. Whatever has you bound and imprisoned, he came to set you free. Now, the Bible talks about this garment of praise. And it's something that you put on. You put on a garment. You put on a garment. I don't stand in front of my closet in the morning, okay, and say, okay, okay, right here, right here, clothes, right here, right here. Just cover me up, Lord. Yeah, cover me up. Cover me up. You can stand there and do that all day long. And I guarantee you, you'll stand there naked because God's saying, you don't just pray about it. You have to put this into action. Action, people. You have to open your mouth and start to say things to God that praises him. When was the last time you said, God, I am so thankful that I have hot water. I'm thankful for the food on my table, for the kids that come and visit me. I'm thankful that you love me enough to give your son to die for me. And I'm sitting here and I'm withering away. And that doesn't please you. Speak out what you want to see. Don't sit there and say, God, I'm just feel bad about myself and everything's bad. It's going to get worse and I just don't know what I'm going to do. Whoa, it's me. Whoa, it's me. Don't do that. You say, God, I know inside me there's a worshiper. I know that I have a, a path to follow. Lord, I know that you've got good things planned for me. Speak out what you want to see, not where you are. Always speak ahead of yourself. You know, Today, the, those today that know the joy of the Lord and put that garment on, they're busy. They're busy serving and loving and praising God, and it isn't all about them anymore. It's not about them. It's about the world around them, and they love being involved. There are some things that when people have a garment of praise, you'll see them follow this. One of them is they love to sing and make music. In 90, Psalms 95, 2, it says, Let us come before this presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Psalms are singing. They face challenges, expecting God's provision. Philippians 4, 6, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he's done. They enjoy worshiping with other Christians. Forsake not the fellowshipping of yourselves. What is happening in the world today is that people isolated during COVID and now too many are using it as an excuse not to get out anymore. That's what Satan wants. That's what he wants. We need to get back into the house of God and get back with our friends and trust that the God we serve will take care of us. You know, see God's hand in everything. Oh, I love that one. And eagerly thank him. Where are you today? Where are you with this? If you're discouraged and depressed, know that Jesus came to brush those ashes out of your hair. And he wants to put the oil of joy all over you. And then you know what he wants to do? He wants to put a garment of praise on you that's colorful. And all of a sudden the world's not black and white anymore. It's got color. Amen. God bless you today. Father, just be with these people. And I pray, Father, that you raise up an army of praisers. Let us praise your holy name. I bind that spirit of depression in the name of Jesus and loose a spirit of healing and a spirit of praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.